This week, a U.S. government public job posting closed after more than a month of accepting applications. The gig? Astronaut. And among the list of duties, to conduct operations in space, including on the International Space Station, not your average want ad. As NASA sifts through those resumes, a new class of graduates has joined the exclusive club of men and women who have led the United States into space over the last 65 years. NBC News senior correspondent Tom Costello meets some of them in our Sunday Spotlight. No matter what you do for a living, these guys have the coolest jobs on the planet. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Or off. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now, after two years of training, NASA has graduated its newest class of astronauts as it prepares for another giant leap for all of humanity. Today, the moon is calling us again. The moon, Mars, a new lunar space station, all in the works. We're all extremely excited. You can feel, you can feel the emotion, you can sense the emotion. Among the new grads, Major Marcos Barrios, a fighter pilot from Puerto Rico with a PhD in astronautics, whose school teacher mom taught him to love math. Math is so universal that I was just, I was drawn to it. I really liked the problem solving nature of math. It was like solving a little puzzle. Air Force Major Nicole Ayers from Colorado, who led the first all-woman fighter formation in combat. But this has been her lifelong dream. I sealed the deal in fourth grade when I went to space camp and got to see everything. And I grew up in the shuttle era, so I didn't necessarily just want to be on the shuttle. I wanted to fly the shuttle. And there's Dr. Chris Williams from Maryland, Ph.D. in physics from MIT, and an expert in medical radiation. I have a very distinct memory of being... Uh, must have been in like kindergarten and like painting a picture in arts and crafts of a space shuttle. It's a select group, only 360 astronauts since 1959. That was one heck of a ride, thank you. Today, they're riding SpaceX rockets to the station. Next year, 53 years after Apollo, NASA's Artemis program will carry them around the moon in a new space capsule called Orion. This is where the commander will sit. The pilot will sit right here. Now, Orion is designed to fly itself, fully automated. But either commander or pilot could take control right here. They each have the same controls on either side. And Orion is a lot lighter than Apollo, despite being bigger. They've gotten rid of the cabling, and in place, they've got computers. We'll have four crew inside. Um, and uh, this vehicle is unique in that it's good for 21 days in space. New astronaut Nicole Ayers can't wait. What is that like to be in this astronaut class that could walk on the moon? I, I think exciting is an understatement. Um, you know, it's just it's such a fantastic time in human space flight. I absolutely hope it's me. Some of America's best and brightest truly living their dreams. Their road to our next giant leap starts today. For Sunday Today, Tom Costello, Houston. Tom, thank you, and congratulations to the new class of astronauts. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.